In this video, I'm going to be talking about using the Sony 50mm f1.2 with the Sony FX6. Here's the story. The Sony 50mm f1.2 is an E-mount lens for the Sony camera system. It has an aperture range between f1.2 and f16, three XA elements, nano AR2 and fluorine coatings, four XD linear AF motors and internal focus, a focus hold button, an autofocus manual focus switch, a physical aperture ring where you can de-click it as well. It has a dust and moisture resistant construction, a filter diameter of 72 millimeters and a rounded 11 blade diaphragm. So now we know the features of the lens, let's have a look at how it performs. And my test footage is of a musical performance and the footage was shot in S-Log3 with the Sony FX6 and I was also using for some of the shots clear image zoom. So you'll see in some of the footage is zooming in and that's what that is because this is a prime lens, it's not a variable focal length lens so it won't zoom in, you are stuck at that focal length of 50 millimeters. And I really did like being able to use the touch autofocus with the new Sony FX6 firmware update. You can see an example of it here, going from the guitar to the musician's face. And all these shots are handheld, and I did have some stabilization assistance with my Cine saddle. And my handheld style is to kind of move around a bit and have a little bit of movement because I feel that motion creates emotion and looks nice. And there are some shots where you can see a little bit of flaring and I do believe that is because of the filter that I have on the lens. I was using a Tiffin Black Pro Mist 1 8 filter. So it's not actually the lens that's doing that, it's the filter that's on front of it. And using the touch autofocus did work quite a bit. I did find sometimes it would track something and then go on to something else. So I did find most of the time it was reliable, but you do need to remember that it is autofocus and it can't read your mind and sometimes it's not 100% perfect. And all this footage was also captured on my Atomos Shogun 7 and I was recording ProRes LT, so not even the highest quality codec. So let me know if you can actually tell that I've shot it in a lower ProRes codec. I would be surprised if you could tell because of YouTube's compression, but I would love to hear your feedback. And my color correcting process for these shots is to use CineMatch, which is a paid plugin, which allows me to pick my camera's profile and then line it up with another camera's profile, which I want my camera to look like. And for most of my projects, I choose to use the Ari camera look. So there's some shots using the Sony 50mm f1.2 lens and hopefully you got a good idea of what this lens is capable of when shooting at least musical performances. Most of the shots were shot at a 1.2 but I did stop it down a little bit sometimes to get a deeper depth of field but because it's an f1.2 lens I did shoot a lot of the footage fully open at f1.2 just to see what the background would look like and how shallow that depth of field really is. Using the Sony FX6's version 2 firmware is a joy to use. I really did enjoy using the touch autofocus capability, so I'm able to just touch the LCD screen and pick a point where I want the focus to lock onto now. In the past, I mainly did just use face eye autofocus, and then if I really needed to, I'd use manual focus to get something in particular. But just being able to touch the screen now and be able to select, I want this in focus, and then the camera gets that in focus really quickly and most of the time accurately as well, is really helpful for the types of shoots that I do. Also using this 50 millimeter lens as well, you probably wouldn't have really noticed much in the test footage, but I did have one of the new features in the FX6's firmware update selected, and that was the lens breathing compensation. And you wouldn't have noticed any lens breathing in this test footage because I had that feature turned on. And that's just one of the little things that I really do like about this firmware update. One of the reasons that I haven't already invested into Sony's G Master lenses, uh, particularly the prime lenses, is because they have a lot of focus breathing. But now that this feature is available in the Sony FX6, I can now start using these lenses confidently and know that I won't be having those focus breathing issues that you do get with prime lenses in the G Master series with Sony. The Sony 50mm f1.2 is not a cheap lens, so this is a significant investment, but it is definitely a lens that I can see myself using a lot more in future, especially when I want to get shallow depth of field with B-roll, such as the examples I've shown in this video. 
It's also not a light lens as well, so that is something to consider. But overall, I'm really happy with the combination between the Sony FX6 and the Sony 50mm f1.2 lens. And that's the video. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel for more videos on video creation in the future.